The Radio Ruck. Back in stock at Go Ruck. It's one of their rarely produced, only two other times in their history, uh, released rucks. It's back in stock. It was in two colors. I missed the uh, this video to show you the two colors, range or green, but it's available in black. This is the 21 liter companion to the GR1. Very similar, but let's check out the differences between the two. I don't know why you're at it. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see the differences between these two rucks as it's back in stock for a limited time. Let's check out the radio ruck. So this is the radio ruck. Is it the best ruck for you? Well, it's uh, very similar in size to the GR1. This one is uh, the same size as the GR1, uh, 21 liter size, both 21 liters, but really the only real difference is in some of the dimensions. It's essentially a little bit deeper than the GR1 and a little bit shorter. The dimensions, if you care, are posted right here. You can see the dimensions. It's only a half inch uh, different and some of the dimensions and it's really taller, but still you get this deeper ruck for maybe deeper items that whatever you carried, maybe a larger camera bag, uh, that you're going to throw in here some other items they just want that deeper size this will be the right size for you important to note though the big difference between this and a gr1 is the lack of the frame sheet so inside a gr1 is a really rigid frame sheet which helps deflect a lot of the uh, impacts from anything you have in here a dumbbell water bottle you just don't feel it in your back so it adds that rigidity to the bag that this one doesn't have the radio ruck no frame sheet so it's a little more flexible so it might be a little lighter and that's easier to throw in with another bag um, if you're going to pack this one down flat inside something else to use as a ruck that you would uh, use around town on a longer trip that's exactly what jason mccarthy the founder of go ruck did and he has a blog post down below 2009 you can read all about it on how they really came up with a lot of the dimensions for the radio ruck uh, since then they've released it two other times 2000 and 12 in 2018 so not very often do they release this radio ruck so right now is a great time to go pick one up there's still black available ranger green was also released at the same time you could probably find those in ebay but not um, available currently which really wish i would have got a ranger green but missed the boat on that uh, just because a little, little too busy with other things and so the black though is a little more classic size it's going to be my probably my camera and travel bag it's a little bit uh definitely more spacious than the 15 liter bullet ruck which i use currently and really just with the added pockets it's going to be a better ruck overall but mostly because i can take my ipad so it's going to be a bag studio right here so let's compare this to a couple other bags so here's the uh, radio ruck and that's what it looks like you can see the uh, gr1 a little taller this is in coyote one of the coolest colors and then you can see there's just the three rows of molly so three rows of molly and a little bit taller is all you get out of these two um, I guess you could maybe compare that it might be a little more tapered on the GR1 compared to the Radio Rocks. It's a little more square and boxy. But uh, again, you get that deeper size for holding just different size things. So this might be the rock for you based off of your uh, height and otherwise um, whatever gear you're going to put in. If you're wondering what how this ruck compares to Rucker 3.0 short frame, here's that. Looks very, very similar in terms of two rows of molly in the front uh, for both bags. But again, the radio ruck's got two on the side. This one has three. That's because you'll be able to put the waist belt on this one. Wouldn't work on this. You need the three rows uh, for that to work out. But inside dimensions are the same, about a half inch different on the uh, height and width and then the depth is uh, significantly uh, shallower and again if this is a 20 liter bag this is a 21 liter size so that's pretty again if you're a shorter frame again i'm 5'9 and so the gr1 size really fits me perfectly but this is going to be a great camera bag based off of its size and versatility and it's a little bigger than the bullet 15 liter by about six liters so that's the big difference there between these two bags. Again, if you're shorter and the GR1 is a little bit too big for you, then definitely check out the Radio Ruck now while it's in stock so you can uh, use it all the time. And then Short Frame Rucker is for you for working out. And again, this is just the perfect bag for working out. And I got a Rucker 3.0 video coming out soon to show you all the finer details. Check out my other video about the big differences between a GR1 and the Rucker. Uh, the similarities to the GR1, first of all, it's a 1000D Cordura, same layout in all the compartments. Uh, so inside the bag, same layout as all the other GR1 family of bags. It's got the same top 
pocket, the very uh, quick, uh, quick and easy access items, and then the bigger mesh pocket, and then the elastic uh, pocket on the inside, which you could put some other items in there. And then uh, two rolls of molly on the inside, which you could mount one of those go pockets that have the molly on attachments or any sort of other um, items you want to put in there. It also um, doesn't have any sort of D-ring. It doesn't have a D-ring. So I guess you'd have to, you could hook your oh, bladder to the top part and run the bladder through the, uh, the opening here. No uh, hidden pocket on this one, the radio rock. Same padded handle and padded shoulder straps. So that's all great and standard for a standard go rock bag. Price-wise, this one's out there for $325. Same general price as a GR1. Um, again, you're not getting that frame sheet and the size is just a little bit different. So that's just something to point out. Again, a, just an all-around carry bag. I would not recommend putting um, steel plates in it. If you were gonna use steel plates, I'd go with a Rucker for sure. But if you were crazy enough to just wanna get one bag and use it for everything and have that bomb-proof pocket, you could put um, a plate in here. I'll show a picture here of what that looks like, how much gap you have to put a steel plate. Uh, I put the 20 pounder in there just to show you how big that would fit. The 30 pounder would fit. Uh, and it, again, it fits just fine. There's just a little bit of a play in there, but not much. And I, I wouldn't recommend putting it in the elastic pocket because it's just gonna fly out, crush whatever else is in there, or maybe even slide up and hit you in the head. And it's also rainproof. So just like all the other GoRuck bags, um, the material and the, the quality is just fantastic. And it's a rainproof bag, so you can keep everything safe. So as always, um, all the GoRuck bags, you can use an earned service discount. Details here and down below on how to do that, if that applies to you. If not, um, the bags are all covered by a SCARS guarantee. So anything happens to this thing, uh, if you wear it out, you can just send it back to SCARS. They'll repair it or replace it with no questions asked for the most part. And then uh, again, so you're really only out the about $10 to ship it back to GORUCK, which I've done a few times and it's worked out awesome. They're very good about honoring their products and they're um, all in great shape anyway. So there's really, it's very rare that anything really even goes wrong with them just because the quality is so robust. The Radio Rec specifically, built in the USA, um, and so you'll get a, an American flag patch when you get it. They've been pretty good about throwing on patches on all those recently. Also, free shipping on anything over 95 bucks. Um, right now, it used to be free shipping on anything, but now it's over $95. Free returns. If it doesn't work out, not the right size for you personally, um, then you can send it back. But for me personally, this is a great camera bag. This is... Um, a little bit shorter than I would use on an everyday carry bag just because the GR1's length fits me perfectly. The same size for the Rucker, the 20 liter Rucker is awesome. Uh, but for taller folks, you'll want a 26 liter Ruck in the GR1 size or the GR2 series uh, when they're available. Um, so really this is for shorter people or for you need a bag that's a little bit deeper and that's it. So that's what the Radio Ruck is all about. Not offered very often, so if this one applies to you, Definitely go check it out now. Link in the description on how to get one and uh, don't go check out the Radio Ruck. So there it is, the quick and dirty on the Radio Ruck. Go Ruck's original bag that uh, before the GR1 and a comparable size, 21 liters. But again, a little shorter frame without a frame sheet. So very nice bag. Not exactly like the GR1, a little subtle differences. But if this is for you, uh, go check one out. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can see what's happening next. I'm gonna produce a few more videos on some of the uh, GoRuck fleet of bags, comparing the GR1, 2, and 3 probably next, so you know what size is best for you depending on what you're doing and what your goals are and how much gear you're carrying. But anyway, hope you like this video and go check out the GR1 on our website. Link in the description and see you next time. Let's get outside, enjoy the weather. Video, give it a thumbs up if you did, and if they need more airplanes, oh, they always know I'm recording. Anyway, that's the Radio Ruck. Hope you enjoyed the video. Where girl gets